When a warplane's paper figures are enough to overturn the existing rules of air combat, people naturally ask, what is the J-36? After its successful maiden flight last year, international speculation was rife. Now, with the cross-validation based on technology and engineering logic by Shipboard Weapons magazine, the outline of this deeply hidden sword has finally emerged clearly, and the strategic energy it contains far exceeds the outside world's initial imagination. The J-36 is not equipped with the legendary, oblique vibration blast, engine or WS-15 is widely speculated, but its surging power comes from three mature and reliable WS-10C engines, with a single thrust of about 14 tons and a total thrust of up to 42 tons. This powerful heart gives the fighter aircraft extraordinary maneuverability, but brings a seemingly contradictory puzzle. The maximum takeoff weight reaches 60 tons, with a thrust-to-weight ratio of only 0.68. This figure is significantly lower than that of the J-20 thrust-to-weight ratio of about 1, and even makes its appearance closer to that of a transport or bomber aircraft. This figure is significantly lower than that of the J-20, which has a thrust-to-weight ratio of about 1, and even makes its profile closer to that of a transport or bomber. However, the three engines are by no means redundant, not only do they provide a solid guarantee for continuous maneuvering and supersonic cruising, but their redundant power system significantly improves the power generation capability of the entire aircraft paving the way for future high-energy directed energy weapons and quantum radar systems, and giving it a stronger situational awareness and electronic warfare support in the complex electromagnetic confrontation environment. The revolutionary significance of this power architecture lies in the establishment of its energy advantage. Modern air combat, especially stealth fighter confrontation, victory or defeat often depends on who can first enemy discovery, first enemy lock, first enemy fire. The advanced radar, electronic countermeasure system and future, directed energy weapon are all power consuming. The redundant power supply brought by the three engines of the J-36 enables it to ensure the full power operation of its core sensors and even provide energy for the airborne laser defense system in a high-intensity electronic countermeasure environment. This means that it can not only see the opponent earlier, but also in the opponent to carry out electronic jamming to maintain a stronger penetration and even in the encounter with the missile attack has the potential for soft or kill interception. This energy level suppression is a key step beyond the traditional fighter design framework. The strike capability of the J-36 can be described as an airborne arsenal machine. Its main bomb bay is 7.3 meters long, which can flexibly load 6 PL-17 ultra-long-range air-to-air missiles or two 4-ton YJ-21 hypersonic anti-ship missiles. The secondary bomb bay can accommodate 6 PL-15 medium-range missiles. The total bomb capacity is as high as 10 tons, which is close to the U.S. B-21 bomber and far beyond the F-35, Su-57 and other fifth-generation aircraft. This means that, with its excellent stealth capabilities and ultra-long-range weapons, a J-36 can be outside the detection range of the enemy's early warning aircraft, as many as 12 high-value targets to implement the deadly silent hunting. The essence of this strike mode is penetrating air control. It is no longer limited to the traditional air entanglement or fight for local air superiority, but the use of their own strong survivability to penetrate the enemy's tight air defense system in depth behind the enemy, directly hunting the enemy rely on the support of the key nodes of the air warfare system, early warning aircraft, refueling aircraft, electronic warfare aircraft, and even rear airports of the enemy aircraft. A PL-17 with a range of more than 400 kilometers, together with the J-36 zone radar detection range of 600 kilometers, means that it can pose a fatal threat to enemy AWACS from 1,000 kilometers away. While the detection range of AWACS is usually difficult to cover such a long-distance stealth targets, loss of AWACS support of the F-22, F-35 fleet, its combat effectiveness will be greatly reduced. YJ-21 carrying gives it air and sea, destructive strike capability, four-ton warhead coupled with hypersonic breakout characteristics, enough to aircraft carriers and other large surface ships constitute a one-strike kill. The threat of one-strike kills all is enough to pose to large surface ships such as aircraft carriers. In terms of stealth performance, the J-36 has realized a significant surpassing of its predecessor, the J-20. Not only is its front radar reflective cross-section area lower, but its side and tail or CS have been sharply reduced by 60%, approaching omnidirectional low detectability. The improvement of this all-round stealth capability greatly compresses the window period of effective detection and locking by enemy air defense systems and improves its survival probability 
and mission success rate in complex battlefield environments. In terms of detection capability, the J-36 is equipped with a large active phased array radar with an aperture of more than 1.2 meters, with a detection range exceeding 600 kilometers, capable of tracking 100 targets and guiding 20 missiles to carry out attacks at the same time. This performance not only slightly exceeds the J-20, but also leaves the F-22 far behind. The huge radar aperture means higher power and finer resolution, which, combined with advanced data processing capabilities, may give it initial anti-stealth detection potential, enabling it to spot low detectability targets such as the F-35 and even the B-2 at longer ranges. The simultaneous guidance capability of 20 missiles builds the hardware foundation for countering, saturation attacks, or executing large-scale, hunt and kill, missions. The deterrent power of J-36 also shows an amazing scale in geographic space. Its combat radius of nearly 3,000 kilometers, combined with the range of its hypersonic missiles of more than 1,000 kilometers, together outline a huge 4,000 kilometer radius, absolute kill zone, in the vast western Pacific Ocean. This area will not only completely cover Guam, the core of the second island chain, and after receiving air refueling support, its spearhead can even reach the Hawaiian Islands. In the face of the U.S. military, Patriot, system of only 200 kilometers of effective interception distance, such an out-of-area strike capability to make the second island chain of defense, is virtually null and void, leaving the opponent's early warning and response time is close to nothing. A J-36, deployed in China's eastern coastal bases, its strike range is enough to cover the entire first island chain, Guam, and even Diego Garcia and other key nodes, and deployed in the Zisha or Nancha Islands and reefs, can be an effective deterrent to the Strait of Malacca and the entire South China Sea surrounding. If air refueling, its strategic reach will go deep into the Pacific hinterland. This coverage, in essence, the U.S. military carefully constructed island chain system from geography and psychology at the same time tore a huge hole. U.S. forward bases and carrier battle groups in the Western Pacific are exposed to its strike radius and its freedom of strategic maneuver and deployment has been compressed like never before. Although the parameters of the J-36, disclosed in shipboard weapons are logically self-consistent and consistent with known technological developments, some of the data may still contain some estimation or idealization. Now that the J-36 has entered an intensive test flight phase, one of the prototypes has eliminated the nose airspeed control tube, a landmark detail that usually means the fighter has entered a mature verification period for its flight control system and is relying on a more advanced embedded atmospheric data sensing system or integrated sensor fusion to obtain flight parameters, which is an important milestone prior to entry into service. This is an important milestone before service. Subsequent test flights will focus on verifying its all-state flight envelope, weapons separation, sensor fusion and electronic countermeasure effectiveness in complex electromagnetic environments, and most importantly, the ability to seamlessly integrate with existing combat systems. The significance of the J-36 emergence goes far beyond the iteration of a single piece of equipment. It is rewriting the rules of the air and space game with unprecedented comprehensive combat capability indicators, from ultra-long-range perception hunting, huge weapon loads to a wide combat radius. When a warplane can quietly tear apart an entire stealth fleet or deliver destructive firepower to the depths of the ocean, the balance of power and strategic thinking over the Pacific Ocean is destined to undergo a profound reshaping. The U.S. military's proud stealth technology advantage, the core position of the carrier strike group, and the forward deployment strategy relying on the island chain are all facing serious challenges due to the emergence of the J-36. It is foreseeable that the military race in the Western Pacific will enter a new and more intense phase around how to counteract such new threats as the J-36. With the J-36, the Chinese Air Force has not only acquired a game-changing weapon, but also announced to the world its determination and capability to build a strategic air force, marking a historic turn in the pattern of air power in the Asia-Pacific and even globally. The service and deployment of this fighter aircraft will be one of the key variables in shaping the security posture of the Western Pacific in the next decade.